Hi guys, I've got the Rover C4 here. We're in Altenburg, Germany at OKM's headquarters and I'm going to do a scan, a 3D ground scan in their test bed here. And what we're looking for is a metal pipe. And what I'm going to show you today is the entire process. We're going to do the field scan. We're going to take the results, transfer them to a laptop, look at them under the Visualizer 3D Studio. You can see what they look like on the scan. And then we're going to show you what the pipe looks like under the ground. So we're going to do it from A to Z analysis, from the scan all the way to the final analysis, all the way to what does that final target look like. All right, so we want to do this to give you an example of what targets can look like when you're doing your scan and your field analysis so that you see what this looks like in our test field. This is going to be fun. Okay, now we're gonna finish the scan by pressing OK right here and finalize scan. And we're gonna go transfer this to the laptop to see what we've got. Okay, guys, we're going to go over how to transfer a scan analysis from your Rover C4 over to your laptop. This is done wirelessly. And also, the, all of our equipment comes when you have a laptop. The device that you buy from OKM is already paired with that laptop. So it makes these transfers very easy. On the controller itself, you go through your menus. And here you can see we've got memory to PC. That is, um, what we want to have in order to make the transfer. So we hit OK on the controller. And now the next step is to identify which of the four memory banks you want to transfer. In this case, we're going to transfer this top right. And you can see now the controller is going OK. It's looking for the, um, it's establishing the connection. Then you go over to your laptop and you choose file, you come down to import. And when you choose import, you get a selection here. In this case, we've got the Rover C4 is already connected. So it's um, the, the laptop knows that the C4 is there. You come down, if, you, if your Rover C4 isn't connected, then you just select it. And then um, you'll get the check mark, you hit next. And you've got your, um, it shows up as the Rover C4 here, and you hit next again. It's a ground scan. That's exactly what we want to, um, to transfer over. That's what our file was. So we hit next again. Now here, it's really important. Always make note when you make your um, transfer, how many impulses were in, in the scan. This is important so that the system, the Visualizer 3D coordinates with what was done on the Rover C4 so that you get a very accurate scan analysis. In this case, we had 36 impulses and now we've chosen 36 here. It's a drop down menu. If you've got something other than 36, you've got, you, you go through and choose. 60 comes up as one of the standards. Now, if you've got, if your scan length, let's say impulse count was 66, then you just go in here where it says impulses and you clear out the 60 and you put in 66. There was an extra one there. So now we've got 66 impulses. It's just that easy. 
In this case, we know that 36 is the right number. So we go in and we set up 36 impulses. We know that parallel is the type of analysis, the scan that we did. We hit next. And then you've got the project title here. If you want to um, change the project title, and I always suggest to be as accurate and as detailed as possible on your project titles, because you need to be able to go back to those later. You can also put your notes in here. Um, any notes that are pertinent to the particular analysis, you can put those in there. It's also very important at this stage to check your field length. In this case, five meters is correct. Your field width, in this case, four meters is also correct. If you wanted to add your latitude and longitude, that's where this is where you would do it. All of these are correct. We've done everything we want to do. We hit next and it defaults to the type of soil. We know in this case we had wet sand. So we go down and we find wet sand, there's sand dry, there's sand wet. We choose wet sand and we hit OK. And at that point, everything's transferring. You can see here we've got the data is being sent. You can see the actual analysis being created here on the screen. Um, on the controller here, it says, do you want to clear the memory? In this case, we want to keep this particular scan, so we're going to say no. We want to keep that memory on the unit, and here you can see the scan is selected. We've got the 36 impulses there. What's really important, now that we've made the transfer from the controller to the laptop, we've opened it in Visualizer 3D Studio. We're still not finished. We need to go up to the upper left hand corner here where we've got the check mark. If you put the mouse over it, it says finish import. Yes, we want to finish the import. That's an important process to do in case you want to, when you want to import your next file, you can't do it until you finish the import of this file. So there you've got a start to finish import from a Rover C4 to your laptop into Visualizer 3D. We've finished the scan with the Rover C4. We've brought the Rover C4 in. We've made the transfer from the C4 over to the laptop, and now we're looking at the scan, and you're gonna like what you see. Here, you can see this is our analysis field. I'm going to uh, increase the size of it a little bit. This is where we started. We scanned in this direction, and you can see we've got a very strong signal here, red and blue with a little bit of um, green in between. So that tells us that we have a very strong ferromagnetic target signature there. So in this case, we know that there's a metal pipe there. So it's exactly what we were expecting. What we've done is we've shown you what it takes to set the scan field up. We conducted the scan. And now you can see what the scan looks like on your screen. So it's um, it, the next step, is to show you what the pipe looks like that's under the sand. We're gonna do that next.